Hi, I'm Ryan Samansky, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we've got an exciting follow-up on our previous video that we did on the turret centering pins. There's a link in the description below to that other video. Uh, so be sure to check that out first. Uh, but be aware that I said some things in there that were generalizations and assumptions about uh, because we found one centering pin like that, that the other centering pins would also be like that. And in today's video, I'm going to prove that that is not the case. So uh, that video we filmed in turret number one. Now we are in turret number two. Interestingly, the uh, wrench for accessing the centering pin in turret one is stored outside the door here. Here in turret two, it is stored right here on the bulkhead by where you need it, which seems like a much more logical place. Uh, so first of all, gotta get this cap off. I just love how this wrench is hinged because there isn't enough room to swing it with this thing here. Yeah. Right, so this lets me take the cap off and under here is the actual uh, keyhole for the centering pin. And uh, it is broken, and this is not screwed down like it's supposed to be. So already, there is something different about this than the other one. And when I put my key in here and go to turn it, it spins freely. There, there's no tension on it whatsoever. And uh, just as a follow-up, if it's been a while since you've watched that last video or you haven't gone back and watched it. Uh, when I am turning this, it is basically turning a screw that is lifting a big pin that is set into a hole that's drilled in the barbette. So when the gun is returned uh, to face straight ahead like it's supposed to when you're not using it, you use the centering pin to basically hold it in place. Um, so something is off about this one. And we're going to explore and find out what. Also interesting the point in turret one, we had to take out every single one of these screws. Many of them were rusted in place. So we had to use a lot of WD-40 and a heat gun and an impact driver to get them all out. And this one was already unscrewed. So the assumption is when the ship was decommissioned, they were doing work here. Let's see what work they were doing. We're in the officer's galley today with the uh, official cooking knife of Battleship New Jersey, Kamakoto kitchen knives. These are made of high quality Japanese steel. Each knife comes with a certificate of authenticity, instructions on how to sharpen it, and they come in this fine ash wood box which makes them uh, an excellent gift idea. It's real easy to wrap this up, transport, take it somewhere for uh, Christmas. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. Our box comes with a set of three knives here. I don't know anything about cooking, but we've released some other videos recently where we use these Kamakoto knives to cut fire hose, which is one of the toughest things to cut here on the ship. And they're used by Michelin quality chefs all over the world. Kamakoto has several special offers going on right now and is offering my viewers an extra $50 off with any purchase using discount code BATTLESHIP. This is on top of the other special offers that they have right now for the holiday season. Go to kamakoto.com battleship today to get your knife set and support the museum. Why is everything on the battleship got to be so heavy? So check this out. It's all disassembled down there. So check this out. There's no centering pin. Here's the rod that comes down spinning freely. It's not attached to anything. And this uh, base for the centering pin is all um, unbolted 
all unbolted. The bolts are uh, glued to the deck by some old oil. I bet it was penetrating oil they used to unbolt these, uh, but it seems to have solidified pretty badly over the years. So, uh, it seems to me like they broke that uh, pin and they were going to try and replace it, or, or that keyhole on the top, and they were going to try and replace it. So to do that, they found out they had to take all of this apart first, and they were only halfway through that process uh, when the ship was decommissioned. They just left it. So whereas turret one, the pins are welded in place here, uh, at least here on the left-hand side of turret two, the pin has been removed entirely. We haven't uh, taken the right-hand side apart, so we don't know what that looks like, and we haven't unscrewed everything on uh, turret three yet either, so we don't know what that looks like. But the real reason I wanted to shoot this video is because now uh, we can see what a turret centering pin looks like since it has been disassembled. Ugh. And... Ugh. This big old chunk of metal right here that is wired up uh, so it doesn't roll away is the centering pin. This is supposed to be in there, so when this spins, that gets pushed down into the barbette to lock us in place. So check that out. You guys are probably the first people since late 1990 uh, that have seen a battleship's uh, centering pin like this. Uh, so at a minimum, this proves that not all three turrets were demilitarized in the same way, uh, which is going to require us to look at all three individually as we get free time over the next couple of months and see just what uh, condition those are all in. So, uh, our next big question is, can this turret rotate or is there anything locking it in place? We do not know. Uh, each turret has two centering pins, one on the uh, right-hand side, one on the left-hand side. This one does not have a left-hand side. Uh, so, depending on what the right-hand side looks like, uh, in theory, this one was not welded down the way that uh, turret one was. So, who knows what we'll find there in the future. So, uh, just a reminder, even if this is not locked in place, we do not have enough power coming off of shore power to light off the electrohydraulic motor that would rotate the turret. And um, even if we did, we don't have any hydraulic fluid in the line to make that happen. So uh, even if this is unlocked, we're not all that close to rotating a turret, but um, it still is interesting. We set off on this quest because of the article linked down below that um, just says in there that New Jersey was selected to be turned into a museum ship instead of the other Iowa's because her turrets were welded in place. Uh, so that may not be entirely true. So if it wasn't that our turrets were welded in place, which even if they were, it's a real easy fix, why do you think New Jersey was selected to be uh, turned into a museum ship first? Let us know in the comments section down below. Maybe it's something we've overlooked. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate the support from today's sponsor, Kamakoto Kitchen Knives. Remember to check out the link in the description below kamakoto.com slash battleship and use the discount code battleship next time you're trying to plan a great uh, holiday gift or uh, planning to work in the kitchen. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so that more people find out about us and our museum. Thanks for watching.